Good day. Welcome. This is your day med with Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we want to look at Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, as a royal priest. He was a priest, the Bible says, in Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 21, after the order of Melchizedek. As Melchizedek was both priest and king, so our Lord's priesthood is a royal one. When we look at Zechariah chapter 6, verse 13, we see this priest with a ministry of intercession. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 21. Starting at verse 20 says, And it so much as not without an oath he was made priest. For those priests were made without an oath, but with an oath by him that said unto him, The Lord swear and will not repent, the water priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. By so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. And they truly were many priests because they were not suffered to continue by reason of their death. So when we look at the priesthood of Aaron, they were appointed, the Bible says, without an oath. Therefore, the implication is that their priesthood was intended to be provisional. It would last but for so long and not enduring. But God addressed Christ with an in this in designating him as a priest forever this quote is found in psalm 110 and verse 4 god has a sword he will not relent the scripture says you are a priest referring to jesus christ his son forever according to the order of melchizedek god stands or places christ's commission on him eternally he knew that is a son would be a priest forever. This throne is going to be one that doesn't change. It will not change hands. It is immutable. And because this is one of um, his attributes also, the, ch the change will not be with him, neither with his throne or his priesthood and so we know this new priesthood as we talk about cannot change in terms of Christ's priesthood there is no such failure like that of man because he lives forever there's got not going to be any death and no changing of the priest. His priesthood is never ending. It will not pass on to anyone else. And as we said, there is not going to be any interruption 
to its effectiveness. It is unchangeable and intransmissible. When we look at what Zechariah 6 verse 9 through 13 says, Zechariah chapter 6 verse 9 through 13 says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Take of them of the captivity, even of Ildai, of Tobijah, and of Jedoia, which are come from Babylon, and come down the same day, and go into the house of Josiah, the son of Zephaniah, and take silver and gold, and make crowns, and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, and speak unto him, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne, and he shall be a priest upon his throne, and the council of peace shall be between them both. So now that the very the visions of judgment are ended. A highly symbolic act takes place. Zechariah was commanded to get some gold and some silver from three of the returned exiles from Babylon. He was to make an elaborate crown for Joshua, the high priest, in the house of Josiah. Ordinarily, a crown is made for a ruler, not for an high priest. But this action points forward to the coming of Jesus Christ as king and priest. He is spoken of in verse 12 of our text in Zechariah chapter 6 and verse 12 as the branch. What will this branch do? He will build the millennial temple. Bear royal honor and sit and rule on his throne. Surely this is in keeping with the royal priesthood of Messiah. That the Hebrew word used for temple means both a palace and a sanctuary. As king, he has entered into his palace. As priest into his sanctuary. The council, the scripture says, of peace shall be between them both. That is peaceful understanding will exist between king and priest in one person. Jesus is a royal priest and he will rule and he will reign 
as king in Jerusalem, just as Melchizedek did in his time. And the scripture says that Christ is forever a priest after his order. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Also comment. And please share. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.